internet, and welcome to another episode of Insane Ian's Sugar High Origins. I'm Insane Ian, and this week, I'm trying something different. You see, we're cooped up in the house because of the uh, stay-at-home, shelter-at-home quarantine things, and so I'm trying to think of new ways to have fun with these videos, because I shoot these videos at home anyway, and I may as well do more of them while I'm here. And because of that, uh, I got a bunch of peeps for Easter well before this whole thing went down, and I still have them. So we're going to try something different. First, I want to tell you what we have. We have a lot. So if there's anything in this video that you want to get, they're still letting you in the grocery stores, and I know they still have peeps there, even though I think the peep plant might be shut down. I don't know if that's a thing. But anyway, we've got chocolate pudding peeps, if that's a thing, party cake peeps, cotton candy flavored peeps, oh, hot tamale peeps, blue raspberry peeps, root beer float peeps, I'm excited about these, and sour watermelon peeps. That is seven different flavors of peeps. Now what exactly am I going to do with seven different flavors of peeps that will make this interesting? I'm going to steal an idea from a more popular internet channel. I'm going to try these blindfolded and try to guess which one it is. And the peeps will be brought to me on the double GPS. That is a great pointy stick held by a giant peep. Stuffed. Anyway, I've got my blindfold. May have come from a mattress company. And uh, we're gonna try this. We'll see how this goes. As you can see, I can't. Yes, I stole that too. Anyway, bring forth the first peep. Okay, there's sticky on the... Ha 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 ha. No. Alright, that is uh, definitely peep height. This is going to be harder than I thought. I can't really discern too much of a flavor off of it because peeps are just sugar on top of marshmallow. There is kind of a little bit of a heat to it, so I'm going to guess that that one is the hot tamale. Alright, time for the next peep. Now this is, this is just fun, I just... I'm blindfolded and fed marshmallows. Now I see why Rhett and Link do this. Just gonna keep that in my mouth for a little bit, maybe try to see if I can discern any flavor on it. It's tough because they're supposed to be flavored, but I can't really tell if that had any flavor on it or not. But this is fun to watch at least, I guess. It's very sweet because it's sugar on marshmallow, but uh, I'm not getting anything else other than that. You know what? Let me try a second one of that flavor. I'm not getting anything except peep, which is great because I love marshmallow peeps. This is just, this is just wonderful. But I am probably going to go into diabetic shock at the end of this episode. But, uh, I don't know, birthday cake? Uh, this one, it, this is going to be harder than I thought. And now, peep number three. Uh -huh. Hmm. Hmm. Now the ones that have, like, heat on them, or like malic acid on them for sour or whatever, I think those are going to be the easiest ones to, like, figure out the flavor of. But everything else is just kind of there. I, I, I'm not getting a real flavor of anything on this. That should really tell you something about taste testing peeps. Blue raspberry, I'm going to say, just because. Because I hadn't guessed it yet. Onward! It's the waiting that I like the most. Oh, oh, okay. 
I tried to smell before tasting them. Oh, 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 no, oh, oh. This one has a flavor. This one, I know, I know what this one is. Ah ha ha, I know it. This is absolutely the sour watermelon. It is absolutely what, what I said before about the malic acid, huh? You see? I'm, I'm a smart man. <laughs> I, I, I know what soft gooey thing was just shoved in my mouth. Why, why do I say words like that anymore? I just, let's, let's move on, let's move on. This is what, number five? I think this is number five. It's just fun. It's just a good day. Uh-huh. 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 Mmm. Kinda got a little bit of a flavor with that one. Not a whole lot, but something very distinct with it. I think that one is the root beer float. I think that one's the root beer float. I think that was one the one I was excited about. So I hope that one was the root beer float, because that one was good. But they're all good. They're marshmallow peeps. They're they're all delicious. <laughs> Alright, number six, I believe. Uh-huh. 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 This one I know. Oh! This one I would have guessed the flavor if I hadn't cheated a little bit. But, um, yeah. This one kind of tastes a little rich. Uh, it's, it's definitely the chocolate pudding one. Uh, I know this because the chocolate pudding ones are shaped like rabbits, and everything else is shaped like the, 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 the peep chick. And that one, I felt with my tongue, the split for the ears. It was placed where the tail would be in, in, on the on the stick, but that was totally the chocolate pudding rabbit. That was really good. Yay! All right, and finally the last one, number seven, last peep. Okay. Ah ah. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. There haven't been any repeats, have there? There have not. Hmm. Hmm, that's interesting because that one also tastes kind of malic acidy, and I thought I did the hot tamale already, and I thought I did the sour watermelon already, but that one was kind of malic acidy too. Am I gonna have to guess the same thing I guessed on one of these? Oh man, now I'm all conflicted about my answers. Some of them I know I got a couple of them right. I know I got a couple of them right, but now, now I'm second guessing everything. This is way harder than I thought it would be. Uh, it's not cotton candy because I I, already, I haven't guessed cotton candy yet, and I didn't taste any of those thinking they were cotton candy. I could be wrong on one of them. I could have had a cotton candy already. I don't think this one's cotton candy. But this one might be sour watermelon, so I'm going to have to guess something that I've already guessed, which uh, I, I'm going to guess sour watermelon on this one. And I think the one I guessed sour watermelon on before is... Man, that one may have been the hot tamale one, and the one I thought was hot tamale of the very first one. May have been something else. I don't know, but I can't change my previous answers. I'm just saying for this one, this one I think is probably sour watermelon. Okay, that's it. That's that's seven peeps. All right, I'm gonna take take off the blindfold. Oh my God, it's bright! Wow. How many did I get right? You got two right. All right, I got two right. Good. That's out of seven. That is not good odds. But. uh... Hey, it was fun, so, uh, you know, the lesson that we've learned here is that all peeps taste alike. What were the two that I got right? The chocolate pudding. Obviously, the chocolate pudding I got right. And the last one, sour watermelon. The last one was the sour watermelon. So was the sour water, the one I thought was sour watermelon the first time, was that the hot tamale one? No. No. It was the blue raspberry. It was the blue raspberry. I thought the blue raspberry was the, was the sour watermelon. Wow. The first one you thought was hot tamales was root beer float. Oh, that's disappointing. The fifth one you thought was root beer float was hot tamales. Nah. So I got hot tamale and root beer float mixed. Weird. That's a thing. Whatever. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, Maybe leave a like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment seeing if you want me to try something else, and maybe consider supporting me on Patreon where I can make more of these videos, because 
supporting me on Patreon. Your funds go towards making new music videos, new songs every month, and of course, these stupid things. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time, and Happy Easter! Goodbye! It's a very large peep stuffed. Oh, I'm kind of peep stuffed too. I'm not crazy about peppermint. Uh -uh. I'm not crazy about PBJ. No way. But if you stick it in a cookie form, uh -huh. you know.